Atlanta for the 10th SEC championship game. Tonight, featuring the Volunteers of Tennessee and the Tigers of LSU and presented by Dr. Pepper. And here come the Volunteers. Head coach Philip Fulmer in his 10th season. And right behind them, the Tigers of Louisiana State University. Here's Mark on the half roll. Fires it deep right side for Reed. Double coverage at the goal line. Flag is from third down from the five. Watch a quarterback draw here. There it is. Mark comes right. Touchdown, Louisiana State. As they did in the first encounter between these two on September 29th, LSU scores first. But and the second time from the end zone, but this one is going to be taken by Dominic Davis at the 50. And again, LSU is going to enjoy terrific field position. Dominic Davis out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Still Tennessee defense after the punt. Here's Corbello. Hooks it. Misses it. Gainesville, he came off after a fumble. Philip Fulmer gave him a hug and said, we're going to need you. Here's the pass deep for Washington. Touchdown, Tennessee. Kelly Washington. 31 yards. Tennessee's on the board. Nine, first down from midfield. There's Bartholomew looking back. And Casey Clawson setting up, going deep for Kelly Washington. Got him in stride. Down at the three. It was a checkoff. It was a checkoff at the line of scrimmage by Casey Clawson. He saw what he wanted again. There, here's play fake. Clawson rolling out, firing it down short, and it is caught. Troy Fleming, number 27, with a touchdown catch. For LSU. Here's a pair of dice. Let's roll them. No running backs in the formation. Went for it, bobbled the snap. I don't Did know that he it. got it. Did not get it. Not even close. Fourth and a foot from your own 23 in the SEC championship game. An injured quarterback, Rohan Davey. LeBrandon Tofield not there. Well, he didn't get it because he didn't get the snap. Here's Walls with the kick. That's got enough distance. Now we know what his now career long is. <laughs> called the Prowler defense. Oh, no. the Prowler no. defense. Little inside stuff. Here's Davey. Let's it go. Caught. Josh Reed inside the 30 to the 20. Wendell York will snap it. Blaine Besh will hold it. This one better. Nice. Much better. Big lift for LSU. They get the three back that right. they lost on that aborted fourth and a foot from the 23. 22-year-old freshman from Jasper, Indiana, recruited by Nick Saban to Michigan State, opted to go into baseball. He played for four years. And now a freshman at LSU. Off his back foot, fires it for Clayton at the 38-yard line. Today, hit from 44. Maybe. Yes! That thing honked as it went through. <laughs> Halftime lead, and it quickly turned into a 26-7 deficit in the third quarter. Here's first down. Davis gets the handoff and comes left. He's got some room in the open field. First down, LSU at the 35. 47, this one 45 yards out. He's done it again. Coming into tonight's game for his career, only 8 of 16 from the 40 to the 49. He's hit three this evening. Kid's got... I think I'm getting a ring no matter who wins. He's playing both sides. Fumble, fumble! Picked up by Damian James, number five. First turnover of the night.
い。He's now fumbled six times this season, and five have been the left guard. He's a former defensive lineman, plays with a lot of passion and enthusiasm, getting the crowd fired up in this third down. On third down, Moth retreats, wants to set up a screen, fires it to Josh Reed, and how about the tackle, and how about the effort by Josh wow. Reed? Wow! What a play by the playmaker. He did not have the first down when he caught this football. Andre Lott was right with him, number 30. It's all the way across the field. Mock buys time. Jabari Greer, the first guy there. Lott helps. Neither one of them can get Josh Reed on the ground. Strong, strong legs on Josh Reed. Reed with four catches for 60 yards. And the yards after the catch, significant. First down and 10 after that nine-yard gain. Here's the snap. And the quarterback draw him walk inside the 10, the 5. LSU has reclaimed the lead. Nick Saban deciding to go for two, but watch now on this play. Hainsworth has him, and he just can't quite grab the ankles, and Matt Mock shows his ability to run the football. He has a good feel for getting behind his blockers and running more like a running back than he does a quarterback. How about the grit this kid's showing? I mean, he's not a youngster. He's 22 years old, former baseball player. Trying to make it a seven-point lead now on the two-point play. Hart says go for two when you're up by five. Trying to make this 24-17. Rob Sales in at uh, center now. He snaps it back. Here comes the blitz into the end zone. Reed, they got two more. And there is joy erupting in four locations that I can think of. Baton Rouge. Boulder, Eugene, and Lincoln, Nebraska. And some frustrated volunteers walking off the field. Helmets off, heads down. Watch the two-point play. They brought pressure. It's picked up nicely by LSU, and Josh Reed somehow springs free on the outside. 14 minutes and 20 seconds remaining, 24-17. LSU has come from behind. They scored first. They have scored on their last four. Scott Wells snaps it back. Clawson looking left. Finds Stallworth again. Inside the 20, a first down at the 16. Blitz by LSU. Max Blitz over the middle, incomplete. Flag down. Bobby Graham, they're going to rule that Damian James made on the four first and goal. Back draw here. Third and goal from the four. Left side, Washington incomplete. Demetrius Hookfin. It will be fourth down. Pressure. The pressure by. They got three. They needed seven and wanted seven. 9.55 to go in this one. In the backfield, Stevens remains on the bench. First down and 10. Down by four. Here's Clawson across the middle. Stalwart. Fumble. 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 Hugh recovers. Demetrius hooked in with the pop. Now remember, Dante Stallworth. Rob Sale in its center. They hand it off, and they've got a big hole. Dominic Davis romps across the 50, down at the 48, again at third. Three down for Tennessee. They will bring four. Across the middle it goes. Caught! Freshman Michael Clayton, number 14. Clayton is the guy all the Tennessee... And 14. <laughs> I love the sign. LSU might mess things up. Here's deep in the right side, Reed. That's a trip. That's going to be a flag. First and goal. LSU. And a first down and 10. 
Davis darts left, then plunges inside the five. What effort. What effort by Don. A gritty LSU team trying to get its fifth in a row and knock off the second-seeded Tennessee Volunteers. They look at a first and goal from the two. Here is Tennessee has to go 99 and a half to beat you. Matt Mock in place of an injured Rohan Davey. Dominic Davis, an injured LeBrandon Tofield. It's going to be Davis for an LSU touchdown. Would LSU be physical enough to win this game? It was summed up in that play. Gut check time all the way, four and one, and they get it in. Here's the kick from Corbello. He will bring it out. Scott down at the 14, 20. Boston, Stallworth, short of the first down, LSU will get it on downs and will win the SEC championship. Great effort by Dante Stallworth trying to fight for the needed yardage, but not able to get there. You know, it's, this, this season has been so crazy. It's been so exciting. I mean, last week, Tennessee went into Gainesville, a huge underdog with nothing to lose, and played lights out, and then came in tonight with, in a very real sense, everything to lose, because now it appears they won't even get to a BCS Bowl game. I mean, they were headed to the Rose Bowl if they win. Now they may not go to any of the BCS games, possibly headed to Orlando for the Citrus Bowl. Fifty two seconds to go. Tennessee stops the clock for the final time. They are out of timeouts. And the dream dies for Philip Fulmer. I think we're going to hear hold that tiger a few more times in our hotel tonight. Oh, I hadn't thought about that more than Rocky Top. You want to <laughs> trade rooms. I'm on the second floor. <laughs> They answered the challenge. I mean, there was a physical challenge put out to LSU, and they answered it without Rohan Davey and without LeBrandon Tofield. Well, in college football, order and propriety has taken a step backward. Chaos reigns. The BCS vote will be slightly interesting. It will be announced tomorrow. Miami's in. For the fifth time this year, the second seeded team is a loser. Happened to Florida twice. Happened to Nebraska. Happened to Oklahoma. Nick Saban. <laughs> that was kind of a wimpy shower. <laughs> I bet he gets another one in the locker room. <laughs> what an effort. Matt Mock came on in place of an injured Rohan Davy. Dominic Davis came on in place of an injured LeBrandon Tofield. Nick Saban's team prevails, deservedly so. Not a bad night for a four-year minor league baseball player. And let's go down to Jill Arrington. Coach, I know you're disappointed, but you've had a great season, but why couldn't you get it done tonight? We just didn't play very well, obviously. I mean, we didn't throw and catch very well. 31 points given up. You know, we just, I don't know. We just didn't play well. All right, Got coach. here together. We lost it together. All right, Coach. Well, thank you. All right. 
Vern, we talked on the field during walkthrough yesterday with two of the LSU stars, Trev Falk and Josh Reed, and both of us said, you know, we never, neither one of us have ever won any kind of a championship of any kind, high school, junior high, anything. Well, they're champions tonight, champions of the Southeastern Conference. 